the, the departed saints of God. The scripture does not call it death. It says that when those of us who know Christ as Lord and Savior part, it is just a transition. That's when real life begins. And to be absent from the body is to be present with the Lord. And just to comfort your heart before, Paul truly warns the Thessalonians. He says, listen, that we are not to mourn as those who do not have hope. We know that we shall rise again to be with Christ the Lord. And so I want you to take comfort, take solace, that our sister has gone ahead of us. And we who remain should all so make sure that we would have sealed our destination while we are alive here on earth. And so this evening, before I go any further and make any, any other introduction, I want to give you some time, those of you who are here, who would have known her as a good friend, a mother, grandmother, sister, whatever you would have known her, her called her. Not a dull moment. Good afternoon, everyone. Queen was not only my sister-in-law. She was my best friend. I told her I would have been coming on the 28th, and she said, okay, sis, I'll see you. But she didn't wait. She was a wonderful person, caring, loving, and to those who know her, joyful, always making you laugh. To my family, my nieces and nephews, just want to tell them, Stay strong. They're not as here as yet. They went home to change. And auntie will always be there. Ask God to give them strength because this is trying time for them, I know. And I ask everybody who know them to st stand by them and stay with them, give them courage and keep them. Because I am in Trinidad, I just come. So thank all who was there with them. God bless you all. Thank you. Thank you. Our condolences to you. All right, let us keep the tributes flowing. This is an opportunity to give your expressions now. Maybe you want to sing a song, give a word of encouragement, speak something good about her, you know, say something that you know about her, you know. That's right. Are you a daughter? Okay. Good evening. I'm married to Kenneth, who is her nephew her favorite nephew for all of you who might be nephews. Um, this was his favorite auntie. And he couldn't be here because of work and everything. And his heart aches because he can't be here. But I came to represent him. And this was our Auntie Finn. Can love Auntie Finn. He speaks of when Auntie Finn, when he was a little boy, this was his godmother too. And so when he was a little boy, he said he would always pass by Auntie Finn's shop. And Auntie Finn would always give him a whole Fanta, a whole drink all by himself. Everybody else had to share. He got a whole one. And he remembered her to this day about that. And whenever he would come from the U.S. to Grenada, 
he would stop at Auntie Finn coming from the airport. And Auntie Finn would be his stop going back to the airport. So Auntie Finn got privileged position. And uh, he always, if he came to Grenada without me, Auntie Finn would always send us coconut tart. I live for her groundnut cake and her coconut tart. And uh, when she started getting older and couldn't make the coconut tart, I came and she said, Roxy girl, I gotta make you some coconut tart. I said, Auntie, leave the kitchen alone. Time for you to get out the kitchen. Time for somebody to cook for you now. And she said, but girl, if I stop, what I gonna do? You know, and she had the sweetest way about her. She was the kindest person. I think I know. Auntie would give you her heart. And the thing I say today is that Auntie is in a better place. And when we came in, in April, we went and visited Auntie. And Auntie said, I'll be with my Jesus. I have no problem. And so she was ready. She's all right. Auntie's all right. She's with Jesus. She said, when mommy did what I am there, whatever it is, don't pray to come to me. So I don't have the family I'm like this. We sad. I would like to do a song I know be half.
Thank you, mighty man of war. Come and do only just what only you can do. Do we have someone else coming? Good afternoon. Good my afternoon. name is Abigail, and that's my grandmother. <laughs> I can't believe. I can't believe it. <laughs> the memories shared with you, so priceless. Living without you could be so painful. <laughs> I don't know. Call me, you don't come in and sleep with me.